Okay, well, how about we go ahead and just um, jump into adventure mode? Uh, for a little bit, at least. We'll create another adventurer and run through the world a bit, see what we can stumble upon before getting ourselves gruesomely killed. We'll put Roughness Vigor and its ghost behind us for just a while. And, um... Yeah, we'll, we'll do adventure mode. Unfortunately, I'm not going to take you through character creation because I've already got the dwarf created. I realized while piecing together the videos that I had, um, I deleted the entire intro where I had already created the character and, um, went through and set up his stats. Basically, the character that we're going to be going into, he's a dwarf of, um, Nish Ishlam of the Trade of Nuts. He's a hammer dwarf. He has his points pretty evenly divided between hammering um, shield using basically everything I normally do, except instead of swords, I took, I took hammer, I think is what it is, a hammer dwarf, so, um, that's what we're gonna be doing. Let's just go ahead and jump into adventure mode then, and see what, what happens with this little brave dwarf we take out, take out into the wilds. Let's see, who do we have around here in the area? Looks like there's orcs in here. So we're in an orc and hamlet. What's the world map look like? So this is where we are, this little hamlet along this river. No idea what this is. Apparently it's maybe a mountain range is there. We might have to climb it. Here's the major river that dissects the land. And there's that desert. Let's see, the Desert of Weasels. The Boar of Strapping Shrine. Where is Roughness Vigor? Roughness Vigor is all the way to the north, isn't it? Combine Snuggles... Um... Is this... Wait, is this it right here? No... I'm not exactly sure where it's at on this map. It's gotta be somewhere. Let's see... Lengthwalled Fortress... Test Scars... Balded... Like it might be underwater. Combine Snuggle... Scuffle wall. Maybe we still have, maybe we'll have to go find it. Try admired. I'm surprised he doesn't know about it though, our adventurer here. What is this? Monstrous lessons, malice chanced. Yeah, so we'll make our own little destination, our own little journey to the north. Um let's talk to the orcs real quick. See if they have any work for us. Greetings, orc sucherer. Hello dwarf, I am wearing you on brush spattered. Don't travel alone at night or the boogeymen will get you. I say, you don't have any work for me, do you? A creature of the night has our people cowering in fear. Death Umbral, the Tenebra Shade, is a short walk to the northeast. Seek this place and kill Chan Jing Wade Jax, the vile creature, mate. Okay, we'll do that. Um, are there any orky, orkish warriors in here? There's an animal trainer, a fish cleaner, a planter. Does anyone have a weapon? Is anyone actually looking for adventure in here? Or are you all a bunch of just homebodies? Weaponsmith, weapon crafter, fish dissector, hmm. Yeah, well, how about just a regular orc? If we talk to them, will they go with us? They'd at least make a nice meat shield. Hello, dwarf. I'm Bajering Past Trampled. Traveling alone in the wilds? You know better than that. Well, then join me. Uh, I would rather not. Uh, I'm just gonna stay here in the hamlet, he says. He stammers and slinks off back into the shadows. Yeah, we'll let him then. Um, so we're gonna have to head out on our own. Let's see. The camp that we're heading to, or the cave? The night creature. It's not really... It's kind of in the middle of nowhere. Should we head due east to this fortress? Maybe try to recruit a warrior or two and then head to there? I think that's what we'll do. So, we'll make a nice little run while the sun's still high in the sky. We should be able to make it to the fortress. Yeah. We'll make it right as the sun goes down. And we'll call it a day here once we get inside. The Hills of Ringing is where we're at. Let's see. Hopefully there's friendly people here. It's not abandoned. Possessed by ghosts and the damned. Um, where's the door at? Is anybody home? Right on this ledge, maybe? No? Hey, there goes somebody. Is that an elf? 
It is an Azricum Elf Mace Man. Let's try to recruit him real quick. Greetings, friend. Hello, dwarf. I am into prestige trusted. The sun will set soon. Be careful that the boogeymen don't get you. And I will agree to travel with you. So there's our first recruit. A maceman. He can bash their kneecaps in. We'll come along and slash their heads off. Who else do we have around here? We have a swordsman. What about you, friend? Are you looking for adventure? I will agree to travel with you. I am only Bantu. Whomed match. Wonderful. So there's two. Won't go over five. Total. There's an axeman. Join up, friend. With a band so large, what share of the glory would I have? So there's only going to be two then. Um, let's see. We'll charge out here. Ooh. That's creepy sounding. Night is falling. The sun is setting in the horizon. And let's see. So let's give these people some names. Um, let's see. I think this guy is going to... No, I don't want to talk to you. I honestly don't care about you, elf. Prove your worth first. So let's see. How do we customize again? It's been so long since I've done adventure mode. There we go. Nickname. This is, um... Wazer. The second. The first Wazer. Or Vazer. He's still... In a roughness vigor. Possibly. Cowering. Waiting for a rescue party. Who knows. Maybe we'll bump into him again someday. But that's the second one. And... Let's see. Tells Darcy you put up one hell of a fight. To those werewolves. And then you rode the currents all the way down. Down to hell. Fought imps on your way down. You was amazing. So yes, you will be there too. So let's see. We're going to travel through the night. I think that we will just make camp outside of the night creature's lair. Maybe. Uh, maybe we just better make camp now. We'll sleep till dawn. I guess no point in stumbling around in the darkness. We'll take turns through the night keeping watch and we make it through alive thankfully everybody did their part and there it is in the middle of the forest pretty close to a stream the hills of ring in the escorted land and we arrive into a pond yeah, so let's come in from this direction then we'll approach from the west I think the sun is probably just directly overhead. Let's sneak. And I'm guessing this is the creature's home. Where's the door at? There it is. Get ready, gents. Our blades are gonna taste blood. We kick down the door and the vile creature hisses at us. I am King Jing Wade Jax. Prepare to die. And there he is, back in the corner. We're gonna just go forward. And I think our sneaking is done with. The vile creature strikes at Vazer, but the shot is blocked. Ooh, somebody dies. Oh, awesome. They already killed it. Tells Darcy slashes the vile creature mate in the lower body. And the creature is cut in half. I didn't even get a, get a swing, guys. Damn. Good job. You night fiend killer. A lead slicing knife. A zinc carving fork. Yeah, this night creature was just starting out. A zinc cauldron with water and clay in it. He doesn't even have blood in here. Worthless night creature. So let's see, everybody still have their name? Um, companions. Yep, so we're good to go then. I guess we'll head back to the fortress. And report our success there. To the king or something. If he'll even give a damn. Um, yeah, we're not going to go back directly to that hamlet. We'll go to this one instead. I think I'll wait until the peasants send me to the fortress before I go on my own. Let's see. There's the road. The ruined desert. Or the farming land, anyways. What do we have here? Azure Elf Bone Doctor, Elf Surgeon. Now, the elves didn't give me the mission. It was the orcs who did it. We'll see if we can report the success, anyways. Greetings, friend. Report success spread news. This is fantastic. May Quan Jing Wei Jax rot forever in the underworld. 
Well, what it, what serve what work can we do for you? For you elves, do you have anything? A creature of the night has our people cowering in fear. The murk of dusks is a short walk to the southwest. Seek this place and kill Yuanlian Dreshlarj, the bride of the vile monster. Okay. So we just killed the mate. And now we're going to go kill the bride. We're going to hunt down all the night fiend monsters in the land. And, um, yeah, once again, I know you can take more than one quest. But I'm only going to take one at a time. And who are you? An Azurecum elf trader? Looks like a bishop. Let's get out of here before they try to try to brainwash us. That's a nice little river. You have discovered a fairly large river. Looks like it's flowing around the bend there. Let's follow it just for a moment. I want to see if it if there's any waterfalls. I think there might be up here. Uh, you can almost hear the water. I guess it cuts right through this land and doesn't give us any waterfalls. Should we jump in? Probably end up hurting ourselves if we did that. You've discovered another river, so the river is merged right there. Let's see. Damn, but there's no way down to him. Here we go. No? Yeah, we're completely sealed off. Wah, why don't you have any sandbanks or anything? Some place we can pull our, our canoes alongside. This is the only place. If we jumped in here, we would be swept so far downstream. Um, you know, let's just fast travel out of here. So where's our next quest at? Not too far to the south there. We're not going to go recruit anyone else yet. And let's make camp for the night. Again, taking turns throughout the night. One person patrolling the perimeter, ensuring that no kobolds try to break in and steal all of our crap. Thieving little bastards. So there it is, right to our south. We're going to assault this place with the same tenacity as the first place we assaulted. So let's go, lads. Kill it if it moves. Looks like it's living in a hole in the ground. We're going to sneak again. And hopefully we actually get to kill it. Vazor stands up and there's the beast. Let's take a look at it. Bride of the Vile Monster. Description, a large scaly humanoid. It has a twisting jointed trunk and it strides in silence with purpose. Its slate gray scales are jagged and overlapping. Now you will know why you fear the night. It's only an average size one. And it doesn't look like it's very successful either. A nickel bony knife. The damn beast is going hungry. Prepare to die, it yells. And we've been spotted. It charges at us. Um, and we raise our weapon. Let's see. Where can we swing? Go for the trunk? Let's try to cut its trunk off. Bash it with the bronze war hammer. Oh, that's right. We're a hammerer this time. Bash it. Um, yeah, we're going to try to bash it with the war hammer. We bash it in the trunk, bruising the scale. It swipes at us, but misses by a large margin. And we're just sitting here. The, our two elves are getting ready to swarm across either side of us and pounce on this beast as well. Um, so we're going to try to go for the head and just bash its brain in. We attack it, but it jumps to the side. Vazor bashes it in the right foot, tearing through the muscle. The bride falls over, grabbing its foot in pain. It's laying on the ground. Ooh, we have an easy strike on its upper body. Yeah, we bash it. We bash it in the upper body from the side with the black bronze warhammer, bruising the muscle and bruising the left lung. It swipes at Vazor, but misses. Vazor counter-strikes and bashes the bride in the left lower arm with the sun gold morning star. It tears the muscle. A motor nerve has been severed. And this beast is going to die soon. Let's try to bash its head in. Yeah, we smash its head in. It bruises the muscle and tears the upper spine's nervous tissue. A tendon's been torn. Vazor continues to bash it. It's just laying there, pretty much dead. It counter-strikes at us, but misses. Vazor punches it in the head, bruising the muscle. Tells Darcy finally comes in and gets a kick on the beast, snapping its jaw backwards. We try to bash it and miss. It counter-strikes and misses. Vazor bashes it in the upper body, tearing through the muscle. And it tries to swipe at Vazor and bite him, but he jumps to the side. Um, come on. Just get one lucky bash on its head. There we go. We bash it in the head with the black bronze warhammer, bruising the muscle and tearing the upper spine's nervous tissue. Let's turn this song up. 
Let's see. And tells Darcy you slash the bride of the vile monster in the lower body from the side, and you cut that beast in half. Man, you are a night fiend slayer. Just chop them in two. Did this thing have anything to eat? A lead carving knife? A horn silver kern? Nope, not anything really. So, rest in peace, you demon. We killed it before it was able to take any innocent lives. We are the preemptive night fiend slayers, apparently. Does everybody have their name? Yep. So let's travel back to the hamlet. Just directly to our north. Still not going to recruit anyone else. Going to keep it to kind of a small party for now. Let's see. Greetings, townsfolk. Get a bounty of food ready for us. We are your saviors, and we have slain the beast. Tells Darcy did it with his mighty blade, his triumphant arm. Let's see. Greetings, elf. It is good to finally meet you. I am dead so Barb Canyons. Can I be of some help? Um, yeah. Well, we tell him what we did. This is fantastic. My Unilean Dreslash rot forever in the underworld. Well, do you have anything else we could do? We would be more than honored to slay something in in your name. A creature of the night has our people cowering in fear. Skull's dust is a half day's travel to the south. Seek this place and kill Binden Bazenlength, the crone bridegroom of shadow. So let's do it then. That sounds like fun. Bridegroom, bridesmaids, everything's getting killed. Gonna hunt them all down. What is this, a furrowed clay loam? Looks like a flood basin. There's nothing growing in it, of course. You can tell where it just water sweeps through occasionally. Wiping out everything in the area. So let's see. It's just directly to our south. I think we'll fight this beast and then I'm gonna save it and take a break for a bit. We're we gonna make it in time before the sun goes down. There it is, across the river. I think we'll camp right here, because honestly, the sun is about to go down. Or it did go down. There it is, night falls. And we make camp early on the side of the river, giving us, giving us enough time to make a pretty nice lodging and catch some fish. So let's see. Pace back and forth, and there we go. We'll approach from the west. The hills of ringing. It's going to ring with battle, the sound of battle today. There is its door. A well-worn entrance where it's walked in and out numerous times. Let's go, lads. This guy has some stuff in here. Darcy stands up being bowled over by Vazor, who is eager to get the fight on. The crone bridegroom sees us and yells, Prepare to die! Um, we're done sneaking, we charge. Before our, our buddies get down there and have all the fun. The beast pounces on top of us. Um, we have... A normal strike square on the upper body. We're going to bash him with the Warhammer solidly then. We bash him in the upper body with the Black Bronze Warhammer, bruising the muscle and bruising the right lung. It looks like we get another attack on him. Um, let's see, what do we have? Ooh, and his eye? Can we bash his eye by chance? We can bite his eye. An easy strike and a direct hit. We bite it. We bite him in the right eye, tearing it. And we latch on firmly. Yes. Um, let's wrestle, try to bite his eye out. Grab, wrestle using the upper front tooth. Let's shake it. He breaks the grip of our bite, damn, and throws us to the ground. And, let's see, Vazor bashes, bashes him in the lower body, tearing the muscle, and Vazor's sun gold morning star lodges in the wound. It attacks, but we jump to the side, and Vazor twists his weapon around in the lower body of the beast. We are going to try to just bash it, I think. Let's see. We have a left upper leg attack we can do, and we try to bash it. We bash it in the upper leg, chipping the bone, and a tendon's been torn. Vazor lands an attack, but it rolls to the side, and tells Darcy slashes at it with its sun gold sickle sword, tearing apart the muscle. An artery's been opened, and the sun gold sickle sword has lodged firmly in the wound. We've got the beast pinned in the corner of the room now, and I think I'm going to go for a headshot. We bash at it, chipping through the skull. The tendon's been torn. The bridegroom stands up, and Vazor bites it in the left hand, tearing the fat and bruising the bone. A ligament's been torn. Vazor latches on and begins growling like a dog. Let's see. 
What do we have this time? We have... We can go for the hand. Vazor bit the left hand. I'm gonna try to bash the left hand then. We bash in the left hand with the black bronze warhammer fracture in the bone until as Darcy continues twisting the weapon around. Vazor bites down harder and shakes around. An artery's been severed. Many nerves have been severed. Good job, Vazor. Bite it. We're gonna go for a headshot and try to bite it. Bash it in then. We charge at the, sh at the bridegroom. We miss. But then we collide and we fall over. Tells Darcy lands a punch. Vazor bashes it in the left foot. More weapon twisting. I think this beast is gonna die soon. Go for another headshot. We bash it in the upper in the in the head, bruising the muscle, tearing the spine, a tendon's been torn. Bridegroom swipes at us, but we scramble to the side. More weapon twisting. The bridegroom attacks us, but we roll away. We're on the ground. Let's stand up. Ooh, somebody died. And let's see, tells Darcy you slash the crone bridegroom in the head. From the side, with the sun gold sickle sword, and the head flies off, sells through the air slams into the wall and slides down leaving a bloody trail you've struck down that bridegroom too damn darcy mr tells darcy there the night fiend slayer so let's see we have a cobalt low boot i'm gonna take that orc tribe paired orc brain there's some orc bones has anyone seen another cobalt boot around here if you have, it's mine. I've already claimed it. Orc intestines. Nickel ladle. Prepared orc lung. I don't need any of that. Orc meat. This guy, this uh, night fiend was a good orc slayer. He was stockpiling for the upcoming winter, maybe. Let's see. Copper coin. Some orky skin. And only one boot. Damn. Well, let's remove a boot. Let's see. Copper low boot. Or cobalt low boot. So what, what shoe should we remove? Um, let's remove the one on our right foot. And we'll, we'll wear that boot. So we've got a, a silk, uh, one silk shoe on and then one cobalt shoe on. What's the rest of our inventory? Let's see, we got a black bronze warhammer, a bronze shield. And the rest is pigtail fiber. We have an elk bird leather cap with elk bird feathers sticking out all over the place. It looks freakish. Giant toad leather dress. Um, we're pretty sexy, actually. Jaguar leather water skin. So yeah, we're working on it. It's a work in progress, our suit is. Um, let's see. So where are we going to go? Everybody still have their name? I want to check out Tells here. Can I get a better description of you? Extremely long hair, lips are very thin. Average in size, narrow amber eyes. Shame I can't tell how old you are anymore about your background. You've killed so many. Chopping chopping them off. Chopping heads off now. Chopping bodies in half. <sighs> well, the sun's rising. It's still early in the morning. And we've just bumped into a shrine. Wow. Um, let's explore it. It's right on the edge of this river. In the ruined desert. Keep your wits about you, lads. You never know what we're going to bump into at these old abandoned mystical shrines there's already bodies up here bard braidwing the lush tentacles a desert titan damn it a titan i slew osatu praise rasps i slew perit dabble touched i slew nemo song ransacked and i slew cool cat ski twins hug and urajikur mystery tuft oh man so many people slain at this the hands of this titan no they they take off charging after him Let's see, the spinning desert titan frozen extract strikes Vazor in the right lower leg, bruising the skin, so we're going to charge then. The fight is on, even though we're under-equipped. Um, we don't have nearly enough people. I can't leave Tells and Darcy just to charge this beast alone. We are in Blossom to Juice, juice the cactus of Gristle. The desert titan charges Vazor, but Vazor jumps to the side. And Vazor bashes the titan in the left rear leg, a tendon's been torn. The Desert Titan charges, um, but Vazor jumps to the side. The Desert Titan slams into the pillar. Dust and debris is flown everywhere. Sand is chipped off of the Titan and falls onto the ground. Vazor bashes the Titan in the left tail from the side, uh, tearing the muscle, and his Sun Gold Morningstar lodges firmly in the wound. Let's see. Let's get a look at this Titan, actually. What's it made of? 
A towering eyeless sauropod. It has three narrow tails and it has a bloated body. Beware of its deadly spittle. Oh boy. Don't let it spit on you. Vazor twists his weapon around. And then, then the desert titan collides with him and pins him to the ground. It strikes at Vazor, but he blocks the shot, swings it away with his weapon, tells Darcy he comes up from behind and slashes the desert titan in the right rear leg from behind, tearing through the scale. Vazor attacks but misses. Tells Darcy attacks, but it jumps to the side. He then strikes it in the right front foot with the sun gold shell that bruises the muscle. And we almost have a chance to finally attack this beast. We go low and it goes high. Damn. Vazor blocks the titan extract. It flies off into the air. Vazor bites it in the lower body, tearing through the scale. He's got teeth and a jaw that rivals even the strongest cave alligator. Tells Darcy slashes the desert titan in the upper body from behind, tearing through the scale. Desert Titan breaks the grip of Vazor's bite. So let's see, where can we attack the beast? We finally have a narrow window of opportunity, I think. Left front leg, easy strike, solid, let's bash it. We bash it in the front leg from behind with the black bronze warhammer. A tendon's been torn. Tells Darcy attacks, but the Titan jumps further back to the side. We go high. Vazor bashes the Desert Titan in the right rear leg with the Sun Gold Morning Star, and then he follows up with a combo punch, bruising the muscle. Tells Darcy slashes the Desert Titan in the left rear leg with the Sun Gold Sickle Sword. It tears to the scale. Um, let's see. Difficult strike on the head? I kind of want to do that, but... Seeing as how I don't have a bladed weapon, I really need to land solid strikes. That way the full weight of my weapon goes right into the bone and breaks it and breaks shell and breaks through armor and crap like that. So let's see. Um, I'm just going to try for an upper body, tricky strike, fairly solid. We bash at it, but it jumps to the side. Tells Darcy slashes the titan in the upper body, tearing through the scale. We chase after it, trying to get behind Tells Darcy, but it goes around. We're playing ring around the rosies here. It goes low. Tells Darcy slashes it in the right rear leg, tearing apart the scale. Invasor picks himself off. Picks himself up off the ground and grabs his weapon. We charge. I think the Titan's trying to run away. Let's see, Vazor stands up again. We accidentally knocked him over. He's still a bit wobbly from being rammed by the beast. Ooh, we have a shot on the mouth. We can punch it. A tricky strike, direct hit. We're going to punch it. We miss it. Tells Darcy slashes it in the upper body, tearing apart the scale. The beast is trying to stay on one side of... Uh, Tells Darcy here so we all can't get an attack on it. We go low. Now everybody has a chance to attack the beast. Tells Darcy slashes it in the lower body, tearing through the scale. Um, easy strike, fairly solid. Normal, normal, tricky. I'm going to go for... Let's go for an easy strike on the left front foot. We bash it. We bash it, but it bruises the muscle. Vazor attacks it, but it jumps to the side. Tells Darcy bites it in the left tail, dent, and it leaves a dent in the scale. Tells Darcy latches on. Vazor punches it in the left front foot. A ligament's been torn, and the Titan falls over. We charge and scramble after the beast. The Titan breaks the grip of Tells Darcy's upper front tooth. Vazor kicks it while it's down, right in the foot, bruising the muscle and bruising the guts. Spinning extract strikes Tells Darcy in the upper body but it's deflected by the sun gold elven breastplate. Tells Darcy, you are really well equipped. We're all running around in silk and pigtail stuff here, and you've got a full suit of sun gold elven armor on. You should definitely live. So we have a shot on the upper body. We bash it. We bash him in the upper body, fracturing the right true rib. Tells Darcy attacks it, but it scrambles away to the other side of the pillar. We give chase. Vazor bites in the right rear leg, and then the titan breaks the grip. So let's see. really need to immobilize this beast or something. Something to knock it out. We have a shot on its right tail. A simple direct hit with the black bronze warhammer. We take it. We bash it. A tendon's been torn. We chip through the bone in its throat. Invasor kicks it in the head with the right foot. A tendon's been torn in the spine. The beast begins twitching. Um, we have another shot on its right front foot. We can punch it or scratch it. Or we can go for an impossible strike. No, no, no. I'm going to go for a tricky, fairly solid. We bash it with the black bronze warhammer and bruise the lung. Invasor's gold morning star lodges in the wound in its right rear foot. 
Um, let's not get too cocky here, but let's see. I'm going to try an impossible strike on the head, just, just in case we miss it. Tells Darcy slashes it in the left rear leg. A motor nerve has been torn. Vazor continues twisting his weapon around. And we try to bash it, but miss. Tells Darcy bashes it and cuts it. More cuts it, cutting it. The Desert Titan misses us. We kick it and bite it. The Desert Titan's having trouble breathing. It swipes at us, but misses. We dodge to the side. More weapons getting torn in it. It spits at us, but we block it with the shield. Yeah, so we're just gonna chomp the beast down now. Pretty sure its days are numbered. We'll go for a head strike. We bash it in the skull. The tendon's been torn. Uh, we scratch it. Desert Titan misses us. It's having trouble breathing. Quake, someone with a sword tells Darcy, chop its head off or something. You've done so well before. Tells Darcy jumps on top of the beast and begins riding it. Come on, Darcy, I know you can do it. Tells Darcy slashes in the left rear leg. The sun gold sickle sword is lodged in the wound. He twists it around. We bash it in the tail. And finally, the beast bleeds to death. Tells Darcy finishes twisting his weapon around and pulls it out with a slurp. Oh, damn. Well, good job, guys. Congratulations to you two for surviving and not being killed by a desert titan. So let's see, what do we have in all these piles here? This is our lucky day bumping into this shrine. Uh, silver coins, partial coins. I'm not going to pick up any coins. I don't really need them. The sun gold elven gauntlet. Let's pick that up. Yep, that is nice. Let's see. Silver coins, sun gold helm. Pick that up. We might have a full suit of armor after this. This is an elf killer, apparently. Uh, more gold coins, partial skeletons, elf fat, plenty of elf fat. A sun gold serpent flail. That's nice, I think. I don't know how useful sun gold is as a heavy metal for bashing stuff. We might find out, though. Have one mace in each hand. More coins. It's another sun gold helm. I don't need it, though. A sun gold cup. We could drink out of another sun gold helm. And a sun gold right gauntlet. Let's take that. I think the I hope the other one I got was a left gauntlet. A bunch of skeletons, another skeleton, more skeletons and coins, and a sun gold toy boat. Yeah, this Titan loved sun gold. Sun gold and just regular gold, actually. And what do we got over here in these piles? Take what you want, men. It's yours. There's more than not any of us can carry. This will be the secret for all three of us for quite some time. We'll probably continue to come back to this place far into the future and haul off what we can. Let's see, more skeleton, skeleton. So that's it. What did we get that we can wear? A left gauntlet, a right gauntlet, and a helm. I don't think I got any boots. Uh, let's drop that shoe. I don't need it anymore. I don't want to accidentally be fighting stuff with a shoe in my hand. And the sun gold flail. Let's see. I want to remove that. We take it out, and it should be in our hands now. I also want to look at it, though. This is a sun gold serpent flail. It is decorated with eland bone and spaniel bone. This object menaces with spikes of high wood. So that's going to be our new trophy weapon, I think. And yeah, let's get out of here while we can. Who knows what else could possibly wake up and crawl out of the ground there. The hills of ringing and the ruined desert are just right on the edge of each other right there. So how much further do we have to go? Not very much. Ancient lost ruins right there, apparently. So let's see. We'll enter this town here, and I'm actually going to save it, take a break, make sure everything's recording correctly. It's been a pretty fun journey so far. Um, we might go recruit a few more people soon. Let's see. Vazer. Let me see your weapon. Your Sun Gold Morning Star. The Sun. Can I see how many people you've killed with it? Actually, I don't think he's killed anyone with it. Here's uh, Tells Darcy's weapon, a Sun Gold Sickle Sword. Three notable kills. Yep. We're gonna hopefully make that list a whole lot longer. So whenever we come back, um, we'll turn in this quest and get a new one, and maybe go get some new recruits from the fortress as well. Okay, let's go report the news of our success here. What'd that say? It tells Darcy stands up. They're still pushing themselves over. 
Uh, let's crawl underneath the legs here. We slink our way inside the elven hut. And who looks important? There's a bone doctor. There's a named elf. I too. Greetings, elf. It is good to see you. We'll report our success here. This is fantastic. Not only Ver Brand Wing, the lush tentacles, but Benden Basin length as well. Um, let's see. What's your history? What have you done in the past? I'm a bone doctor. I would give anything to be away from here. I can't stand the boredom. Well, then join me. Excitement adventure. I am thrilled to join you. Awesome. So we have an adventuring bone doctor now. I want to know a little bit more about him, though. Profession, bone doctor, family, service capital. Where's life story? I have no family to speak of. I'm just a bone doctor. Dang, I can't really learn anything about him then. Do you mind if we sleep here in your hut for a day? Certainly, it would be terrible to leave someone to fend for themselves after sunset. And um, we'll also get a job from him. And then uh, we'll take him to complete that job. You are a hero and should aspire to great deeds. Garnish Staves is a short walk to the southeast. Bulo Cookscalded speaks for the Abyssal Confederation and he may have a task for you. A creature of the night has our people cowering in fear. The Murky Bones is a half day's travel to the southwest. Seek this place and kill Tandquan Cusps Whisper, the Abyssal Ghost, the consort of the Night Horror. Okay. So we're just going to sleep here, and we will not be heading to the fortress just yet. We're going to go kill that night whore, and then we'll go and inquire at the fortress. I want to test out our bone doctor here, see how he's going to fare in combat. And also get a name for him. I hate choosing names, I'm really starting to dislike this part. <laughs> it's getting so difficult. Come on, elf. Let's see, there he is. So let's get him named... Greetings. Um, here we go. Yeah, then give me a moment. I'll get a name for him. Let me pull up my list here. Okay, well, let's see. Our, our elf is named now. Metal Slime Hunt, welcome to the party. So let's go. You're going to be our bone doctor. And where's our quest at? Seek Bulo Cooked Scald. He is real close. He's right next to those runes. And Tandquan Cusps Whispers. Well, you know, maybe we should spe seek Bulo first. Yeah, we'll, we'll go see Bulo. And then we'll bounce over there. And kill the Night Fiend. It's just pretty far away. Compared to this place, anyways. Keep your eyes peeled for any fancy trinkets on the ground, lads. And put them in your pack if you see them. So let's see, where's their central area at? It's not on the high plains their keep. Looks like they've got it down low. Greetings, friend. This is Lady. My name is Captain Steel Anvil, and I am Bulo Cooked Scalded. May I be of some help? Well, we're actually great heroes. Perhaps you've heard of us? Indeed, hero. Your deeds are known far and wide. The quest I have for you now will truly test your strength. Know that the whole world is watching the outcome. I am speaking for the Abyssal Confederation. Our people have been tormented by a fearsome foe. The Greater Actions is a short walk to the southwest. Seek this place and kill Tar Kostja, greatest, most. The certain harvester, the giantest. This vile fiend has killed seven in her lust for murder. I think we can do that. What do you know about the surrounding area? Give us a little bit of scouting knowledge. Mark Fatal is a day's travel to the northeast. Ivy's skull stunned the abyssal burial the night brood is there, if you're looking for a side job. And the furious dunes is a day's travel to the east. Sand lions have been known to hunt out there if you're hungry. Oh, goodbye, lady. We'll report back, hopefully, with news of our success. We're not going to recruit anyone else, though. We've now got a medic to heal our wounds. And two brave warriors. Tells Darcy the bloodthirsty finisher and Vazer, the unrelenting pummeler of doom. So let's see, I think we've got everybody here. Yeah, we'll travel there now. So let's see, there's Tardquan, and there's Targis, the greatest most. I think we'll hit Tarkostia first. And there's the cave, just past the runes. 
It'd be nice if we bumped into another um, set of runes. Kind of makes me want to just wander around. So here we are. Keep your wits about you and stay in the backbone, Doctor. At least until we've got it angry at us. There is its hole. There's blood on the outside. You can tell it's killed something recently. Sandy clay loam. It looks like blood. It's probably sandy clay loam mixed with blood. We dive into the hole and there's the fiend. It doesn't even it hasn't had a chance to see us yet. Wait. Yuanlin Songchon's mutilated corpse? A pool of vile monster blood. Have I already been here? I think we're at an old stomping hole. Whoops. Sorry guys, false alarm. Yep, we've already been here. So, uh... Where is it then? Further south. Nice to know that that place is still there. There's another cave hole. Have I already been over there too? Let's see. There we go. Yep, this is it. The escorted land. The hills of ringing. Draw your blades, and let's march. Looks like this one lives in a hillside, too. We scout the top, and it's clear. Doesn't have any lookouts. We tiptoe inside, and it doesn't even have a front door. The beast doesn't desire one. There it is. It has a whole bunch of wealth in here. Mittens, gold coins, what was that? A cobalt cap. A deer leather backpack, silver coin, jackal hood. We'll check out the loot here in a bit. We charge and it yells at us. I am Tarjaska greatest most, the certain harvester. Killer of Galardoba, Tunnel Shin, whom was fed the carry-on of his beloved animals before death. Master of Reglan Storm Angels, who sought my praise, only to be rejected in death. Bane of Wanlila, Schliphushed, who never learned who her real father was. It was me. And uh, foe of Shanguji, spear shoots, whose scant meat was fed to my beasts. Nemesis of Bengjing, sun confines, whom I buried alive under a mountain of hatred, prepared to die. Maybe it was under this mountain of hatred that his body lays. We wait and wait once more, and the beast finally comes within striking distance. It's charging at us with its fuel, full fury. If it hits us, we'll be slammed into the wall. Let's see, we have no real good attacks on it, a shot on its mouth. We can punch it, we're gonna punch it, easy strike, very square, just right with a, a solid righteous fist to its mouth. We miss it, Vaser attacks, but it jumps backwards, halting in its tracks. Somehow it managed to stop itself. Um, we're gonna press forward. We press forward and roll to the side, Vaser stands up. What do we have here? No opportunities, um, normal strike. Let's go for the arm. We're gonna do, well, that's not a solid strike. Easy strike on the leg. Fine, we'll do an easy strike on the leg. We bash it. Ooh, a whole lot of stuff goes on. We're on the ground. We bash the giantess in the left upper leg. It charges, and it punches us in the right lower leg. Bruising the muscle, it collides and knocks us backwards. We roll through a pile of loot. Vazer bashes it in the right upper leg. A tendon's been torn. Tells Darcy attacks, but the giantess counter-strikes. It grabs Darcy by the third finger and bends it backwards. The finger slips out of the giantess's grip. The giantess strikes at Tells Darcy, but he blocks the shot. They counter-strike back and forth several times. Metal Slime Hunt attacks, but the giantess dodges to the side. Let's see, we need to stand up. The giantess has scrambled back into this passageway. I think we might be here alone. We stand up. And thankfully, we didn't get attacked or kicked in the face by it. Let's see, left eyelid, what can we do? I'm gonna try to punch it in the eye. We attack it, but it jumps to the side, it jumps backwards. We charge forward, and the giantess charges at us, we collide. The giantess punches us in the right upper leg and collides with us backwards. Metal Slime Hunt stands up. The giantess turns its gaze towards Darcy and charges it at Tails. Surprised. The giantess scratches Tails in the left cheek and tears apart. Tears it apart. They collide and tumble backwards. The giantess throws a punch at Vazer, but the shot is blocked. Vazer counter-strikes, but misses. <clears throat> we stand up. The giantess counter-strikes at Vazer, and then grabs him by the right foot and begins lifting him off the ground. Man, we really need to hit this beast at least once. Do we have any, any opportunities? Nope. 
Everything's tricky, tricky, normal. I'm gonna go for a tricky strike on the upper body. Bash it. We're gonna try to bash it with the Sun Gold Serpent Flail. We swing and it misses. The flail chips off the wall. The giantess locks Vazor's right ankle with the left upper arm and tells Darcy slashes the giantess in the right hand. The sword gets lodged in the giant's hand. We're gonna swing again. Tricky strike, fairly solid, no. Shit, everything is tricky. Could go for a crotch shot, difficult square. We're gonna go for a crotch shot with the flail. The sun gold serpent flail. We swing and miss. Vazor bashes the giantist in the right hand, tearing through the muscle, and Metal Slime Hunt slashes in the upper body with Sun Gold Boning Knife. It tears through the muscle. The giantist bends Vazor's right foot, shattering the bone. The ankle pops out. Vazor screams out in pain. A ligament's been torn. Oh, man. Vazor, you, we might have to drop you off in a town somewhere. There's an easy, fairly solid on the lower body. Um, yeah, we're gonna go for the serpent flail strike. We bash it in the lower body, bruising the muscle. Vazor swings and misses, tells Darcy twists the weapon around, and the giantess releases its grip on Vazor's foot, dropping him to the ground. Um, what are we gonna do here? Easy st strike? No. I wanna go for one headshot. There's an opportunity on the foot. I don't wanna kick, play footsie with it and kick it. We're gonna go for a headshot. With the sun gold serpent flail. We swing and miss. Vazor swings and misses. Everybody swings and misses. Arms and legs and weapons flail into the air. Tricky, very square. Normal, normal, normal. Normal, very square. Difficult, difficult. Um, let's go for a normal, very square then on its... How about on its leg? On its left upper leg with the flail. We miss. The giantess releases its grip on Vazor's right foot again. Everybody swings and misses. The beast rolls to the ground. We're all just standing here, piled in the doorway, fighting for dominance in the narrow corridor. We're gonna go for a headshot with the black bronze warhammer. We swing and miss. The giant just grabs Vazor by the fifth toe. I'm not sure what what the hell's going on there. We swing at the upper body with the sun gold mace and miss again. Vazor misses. Tells Darcy slashes the giantist in the right upper leg. The sword gets lodged in the wound. Metal Slime Hunt misses. The giantist releases its grip on Vazor's toe. It's trying to rip his leg completely off. We're going to charge at the beast. We miss. Um, actually, let's switch our attack preference. Current attack preference is to charge. Dodge preference is to move around. Charge defense is to stand ground. I just want to try something different. Might end up being extremely bad for us. Let's see, we charge at the giantess. We bash it in the right foot with the black bronze warhammer. We collide and are knocked over. Tells Darcy misses. Tells Darcy stands up. The giantess releases its grip. The giantess punches Vazor in the right foot again, mangling it. A ligament's been torn. His foot turns into a pile of pulpy dwarf meat. Giantess grabs Vazor by the dog leather shirt and pulls it up and starts breathing directly into his face. Spittle flies all in his mouth. We're stunned. We're on the ground. We can't stand up because the damn beast is on top of us. We step back. Metal Slime Hunt misses. The giant punches Vazor in the right lower arm. A ligament's been torn. Tells Darcy misses. Metal Slime Hunt misses. The giantist releases its grip. And Metal Slime Hunt attacks but jumps to the side. And Vazor gives in to the pain and falls over. Man, get off of me, you damn beast. We step backwards once more trying to get the beast off from on top of us. We roll to the side. Tells Darcy slashes the giantist in the upper body from behind, tearing through the muscle. The giantist bends my lower arm backwards with the left hand. The ligament's been torn. My arm's been broken. We're still on the ground. I gotta stand up and get my speed up or we're just gonna be pummeled in. So we try to stand up and we get knocked over again. Tells Darcy slashes the giantist in the left upper leg. The giantist charges at us and collides and we're knocked over. Metal Slime Hunt jumps onto the beast's back and stabs it in the left upper arm, tearing through the muscle. He's trying to use his anatomy skills to disable the beast. Tells Darcy slashes the giantist in the right lower leg. Um, let's see, more slashing. Tells Darcy lands another strike on the lower body, just tears through the muscle. Uh, this beast is thick. The giantist falls over. Tells Darcy slashes the giantist in the right foot, slashing through the tendons. The leg buckles and the giantess gives in. The giantess punches Metal Slime Hunt in the right upper body on the on the right upper arm on the way down. Oh, we still can't stand up because that beast is on top of us. 
Can I at least have a, any strikes on it? Not really. I'm going to try to move to the side once more. And then stand up. We can't stand up because somebody else is on top of us. Get off me, you bastards. Tells Darcy misses. The giantess scrambles to the side. We finally stand up. And tells Darcy slashes the giantess in the upper body. A tendon's been torn. And we're going to go for an upper body normal strike square with the sun gold flail. We miss. Tells Darcy misses. Metal slime hunt misses. We have the beast pinned against the wall. Vazor's back here coughing up. Not really blood, just... I think he's dry even actually, because of all the pain in his leg, he's given into it. Um, we have a shot on the right lower leg, fairly square. Let's just bash the legs in for this beast. We try, but miss. Everybody misses. We bash it in the left foot. A ligament's been torn. The giantess grabs Metal Slime Hunt by the back tooth. We bash it some more, bruising the lung. Tells Darcy stabs it in the lower body from the side, tearing through the muscle. More bashing, more bashing and cutting. The giantess takes Metal Slime Hunt down by the lower back tooth, squeezing his jaw until the dwarf, till the elf drops to the ground. We bash the giantess in the right foot. Metal Slime Hunt stands up with the giantess's hand all over his face, forcing the beast backwards. We have a normal strike, very square. We're going to go for a bash with the bronze warhammer. We bash it from behind with the black bronze warhammer. It bruises the muscle and bruises the right lung. The beast gasps and it begins having trouble breathing. Tells Darcy slashes it in the left lower leg. A motor nerve's been torn. Easy strike, very square, with the sun gold serpent flail on the upper body. We bash from behind, but the attack glances away. Metal Slime Hunt stabs it in the head. More stabbing, more tearing. Giantess takes Metal Slime Hunt down by the lower right back tooth, again squeezing. The elf drops to the ground. Let's see, we bash the giantess in the right upper leg. Metal Slime Hunt finally gives in to the pain and falls over from having his head squeezed. And we need to bash this thing in the head and knock it out or something. We try to bash it in the head with the flail but miss. Tells Darcy slashes it in the right foot. Many nerves have been severed. Cut its feet off if you can. Let it bleed out. We bash it in the body from behind, bruising the muscle, fracturing the metal spine's bone. A tendon in the spine's been torn, but he still continues to squeeze Metal Slime's hunt head. We swing and miss, tells Darcy slashes. The giantess releases the grip of its leg on Metal Slime Hunt's head, so it was actually having you in a leg lock. We bash the giantess in the right, some other stuff, and finally the giantess is bled to death. Rest in peace, you hellish fiend. Let's see what it has for us. Will the elves over there recover? Let's see, we need a whole bunch of armor. Silver coins, copper coins and stuff. Cotton fiber bag. I'm not going to pick up any backpacks. Copper right gauntlet. I've already got sun gold gauntlets on. Let's see. Leather glove, gold coin, copper coin, gold coin. So many coins. Jackal leather sandal. That's a real nice one. Finally crafted jackal leather sandal. This object is adorned with hanging rings of you. If only I was a collector. A hoary marmot left mitten. Cotton fiber cloak. Rock lion loincloth, and let's see, ooh, a black steel warhammer and sun gold elven boots. I don't know if I have boots, do I? I have gauntlets and helms, and I do have one boot on, if I remember. A cobalt low boot. Yuck, low boots. Copper chain leggings right there. So these two stacks are really good. We're going to take those copper leggings. Don't give in to starvation, and let's see. Um... Yeah, we'll take that sun gold elven boot. And I really want that black steel warhammer. It's just so shiny and nice. We're going to take it. And we're going to put those, cha those chain leggings on. I might look at those later. I don't think they have anything on them, though. Let's see. Here we got copper coin, cotton trousers, a black steel helm, steel high boots. I don't really want steel, though. What do I have for my helm? Is that sun gold as well? Head is elk bird leather cap. Um, yeah, let's get that helm then. Where was it? Black steel helm, is that what we want? Or was there a better one? I guess it'll have to do. Let's see. Elk bird leather cap, remove it and drop it. Won't be ever putting that on again. Oh, do I already have one? Oh, I do have a sun gold helm on. Dang it. Whoops. Never mind. I guess I do need that elk bird leather cap. Sorry. I'll put that back on. The feathers stick back out. 
and then our heads warm once more. So let's see, a gold coin, sun gold elven boot, copper low boot, no, willow bucket, and that beast's corpse. Oh, I need a breastplate or something like that. That would be extremely useful. Sun gold right gauntlet. Again, I think I'm good on gauntlets. Let's see, sun gold, yeah, sun gold left gauntlets, yeah. Pretty much just a tunic at this point. Tunic and breastplate. Sun gold loincloth, I'd wear that. Iron chain leggings, rope reed stuff. Some more gold coins, buckets, used stuff. Um, what do we got here? Man, so many gold coins. I just wish they were worth more and I didn't have to carry like 500 of them. Sun gold gauntlets. Lots of those as well. Boar leather armor. I think I've already got leather armor on though. Black steel helm. Okay, well I guess that's it. We'll have to continue our search for armor elsewhere. And let's see. Everybody with us? Looks like every, yep, all three followers are here. Poor Vazer, he's laying on the ground wounded. I think he gave in to the pain. We'll wait here for a moment. I don't want to leave them behind. Uh, Metal Slime Hunt gives in to the pain and falls over. Vazer gives in to the pain and falls over. I gotta get a little bit, little bit of distance between us and that, and that fiend's lair before I can move. Let's see, we'll get out to this open field here, get everyone around us, and then we'll head out to the nearest hamlet. And depending on how injured they are, may end up leaving them behind. I can't have people who are going to be constantly falling over, giving in to the pain. You're a liability even though you've been, been completely wonderful to the group. Come on, pick yourselves up and get over here. There's still glory to be found to the north. You don't want to miss out on that, do you? Let's see. He's with us. I'm really worried if I if I leave when they've given into the pain, they'll be left behind. So let's see. Metal, metal slime hunts no longer stunned. What's exactly specifically wrong with you, doctor? Description. Her right arm is broken, her right upper arm is bruised, so your arm was bent backwards and broken. And Vazer, I think it's just your foot. Your right foot's broken, your right foot's bruised, your right lower arm is also broken. Well, yeah, so he kind of really messed you up. Um, let's travel. Hopefully you stay with us, Vazer. So where are we heading? We could head over here to Tandyquan Cusps Whisper, Cup Whispers. No, maybe that's where we should go anyways. It's pretty close. It's better than having to go back up to the hamlets. And then backtracking this way. So let's continue on then. Yeah, we'll continue our journey. Even even though we're wounded. And night is falling. So we're in the hills of ringing in the ex escorted land. And we're just going to spend the night camping. Oh, I still don't know how many people are with us how many people were left behind. So let's see, killed Tandiquan, he's right up here in this cave system. And there's the nearest hamlets directly to the west, so that's where we will be heading. Stick close, it looks like Vazer was left behind. I'm sure he headed back to town, that's what he did. He's quite a resourceful fellow. So let's see, where's the entrance at? Come out, beast. Quit hiding in your dank holes. Northwest. Is it living in a hatch in the ground or what? I think this whole whole hump might be it. Yeah, we'll scout down here. Metal slime hunt stands up. Wow, I think it's got a, quite a big cave system. If this is it, directly to the north, I'm really far off than there it is. Small little hole in the ground, very well hidden. Stay close lads, let's go. It's got some stuff in here as well. If there's a tunic, I'll pick it up as quickly as I can. A silkworm long skirt, orc blood, orc lung, lots of orc stuff. 
This beast loves eating orc. Look at all that. Pages and pages of orc stuff. A cow leather backpack. Copper trumpet. Scorpion chit and cheated water skin. A whole bunch of other stuff. This thing's a killer. We have cobalt bolts there. Maybe it's not home. Just stay quiet. Metal slime hunt stands up. There it is. Damn. And let's see, is there a tunic in here? A dragon raptor dragon scale sandal. Copper low boot, copper low boot, copper low boot. I want to see those sandals. This is a dragon raptor dragon scale sandal. Extremely fancy. We charge at the beast. The consort of the night hisses at us. I am Tandquin Cusp's whisker, the abyssal ghost. Prepare to die. It charges at us. I actually want to change my charge preference. If it charges at us, um, we're going to dodge to the side, according to opponent at least. I don't always want to stand my ground. That giant could have really screwed us up. The consort of the night swipes at us but misses. We have... Normal, 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 very square on the head. I have to take that. We bash at it with the sun gold flail. We charge and miss. We collide with the night horror and are knocked over. The consort of the night strikes at us, but we block it. Tells Darcy steps up and attacks it, but it jumps to the side. Um, let's see, what do we have this time? Looks like we have something on the head. We can kick it, simple, square. I like that. We'll try to kick it with the left foot. We miss it. The Consort of the Night counter-strikes. Tells Darcy strikes it, and it jumps to the side. Tells Darcy spins to the side and counter-attacks. Cuts it in the body, tearing apart the muscle. An artery has been opened up. And we are on the ground. We need to stand up. We try to stand up, but the beast charges at us, and we are knocked over. Tells Darcy swings and attacks, but it jumps to the side. He catches it again on the follow-up from behind, tearing apart the muscle. Many of the nerves have been severed. The consort of the night horror falls over as tells Darcy's blade severs its nervous system. Tells Darcy bites it in the right foot from the side and begins sucking out some of the blood. Tells Darcy latches on firmly. So we're going to stand up and I think this beast is pretty much done for as well. We're just going to start bashing it then. We bash it. Sun gold sickle has been lodged in the wound. The consort of the horror of the night horror counter strikes and tells Darcy twists his weapon around. We bash it in the head from the side with the black bronze warhammer, bruising the muscle, jamming the skull to the brain, and tearing the brain open. The black bronze warhammer lodges in the wound. And we emerge from this little hole in the ground victorious. Let's go. There's nothing in here that we need. I don't need any bolts or any of that armor. If it was better dragon raptor scale stuff, I would have taken it like a tunic or pants or something. Even a cloak or cape. That would be nice. So let's make our way over to this hamlet here. We're going to investigate it. I think these are all orcs. Hopefully they're on friendly terms with our um, our elf friends here. We won't go to the trader's village. I don't have anything I want to trade just yet. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and take a break and save it. And whenever we come back, we'll report the news of our success to these orcs here and see what other quests we can do. We also need to go back to the elf fortress and speak to uh, the lady, I think it was Bulo. And maybe some, maybe we can even bump into Vazor at some point, who knows. We'll swing back by that, that place maybe.